Alright guys, welcome to another video, and in this video, we're going to be animating the player whenever he jumps, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently than before. We're going to be using something called sub-events, and if you understand computer programming, then this concept is actually going to be really simple to you, but if not, I'll try to explain it the best I can. So, what you want to do is we need to first test um, if the player is actually jumping. So, of course... We're going to test for the player box and under here we have a bunch of platform behaviors and we first test is the player jumping well after this we need to check a couple things we need to first check was he moving or was he standing still so we always want to test if he's jumping but then we need to test something after that so in order to test one thing after another we add something called a sub event so if we let me guys uh, deselect this so you guys can see okay so have this event selected and then once it is selected press S on your keyboard what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a sub event of this event basically saying okay you test if the player is jumping they are now what do you want to test for so basically a test after a test so the first thing we need to check for is was he running so of course player box just like before platform is moving so this is basically saying was he jumping and if he was was he moving while he was jumping so on this one we need to add that jump from run animation so of course the animation goes on player and we need to set the animation to jump from run done now aside from this we also want to say okay was he not moving or was he staying still whenever he jumped so this one is he jumped while he was moving and now if you highlight this and hit s again it's going to add another jump event and here's another uh, thing that is kind of confusing but let me just uh, do it and then I'll tell you guys what's going on so we're basically going to test is moving like before but once we have this one highlighted then press I on your keyboard or what you can do is you can press I or right click and press invert and what this is pretty much saying is X platforming is moving or basically let me read this uh, like how the computer program is going to read it and this is going to make sense okay did the guy jump if he did then do this animation if he didn't or excuse me if he was moving while he was jumping do this action if he was not moving while he was jumping do this action so whenever you see the X or invert just in your mind read not so the player is not moving while he's jumping well of course in that case we just want to add the animation jump from stand so did he jump if yes jump from run or excuse me is he moving jump from run is he not moving jump from stand hopefully you guys understand that and the reason I said uh, if you're a computer programmer because there's a thing called if else statements tomato tomato not important but anyways once we play this now we see that we get two let me go down to my ground floor right here we get two different animations first it checks is he jumping if so just do jump from stand and also is he running and jumping then we're gonna do jump from run so you still see that we got a little issue right here with the animations they look kinda weird and we're gonna be fixing those in the next tutorials so um basically what I'm talking about is he remains animated after you jump you see what's going on so that's a little bug and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that in the next video but hopefully you understand this and uh, if not just watch the tutorial again or do it um, follow along with me and it's it'll make sense so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time